Good morning South Africa. We've got the latest news stories and headlines in South Africa on Wednesday, January 26, 2022. Now let's take a good look at the top five stories that have made headlines for today. Scopa to request Ramaphosa's written submission over alleged comments in leaked audio. Mervyn Dirks, a serving ANC MP, wants President Cyril Ramaphosa to explain, in writing, his alleged comments in a leaked audio recording on the use of public funds for party activity. And he is not stopping until it happens. The Standing Committee on Public Accounts, Scopa, has requested just that. Scopa to request Ramaphosa to explain, in writing, his comments in a leaked audio recording on the use of public funds for party activity. This comes as Dirks petitioned Scopa to summon Ramaphosa. The state security agency will also be asked to make a submission. I am not in a position to lay criminal charges currently, Wind provides update on Fritz allegations. Western Cape Premier Alan Wind released another statement on the serious allegations leveled against DA provincial leader and community safety Mac Albert Fritz. The Premier said he was formally made aware of the allegations in November 2021 and a number of processes took place before Fritz's suspension on Sunday night, January 23. Wind immediately suspended Fritz on Sunday. He announced it in a short statement that did not disclose the nature of the allegations against the Mac. It has since been alleged by the media, activists and other sources that Fritz sexually abused young women within his department. Eastern Cape Councillor Rulash assaulted and dragged by armed men. Talk about serious violent disorders. Here is an Eastern Cape Councillor Nanziwi Rulash being roughed up and dragged out of her office by armed men on Monday. The attacker said the ambush was an instruction from the Amat Hall District Municipality Manager. The obvious questions are who did this and why? According to the reporter, Sisankim Lamla, the Eastern Cape Councillor Nanziwi Rulesh, who is seen kicking and screaming in the video, was at the mercy of security guards as seen in the video. It is said the attack was a command from the local municipal manager. Additionally, five people were arrested, including the security guard attackers in the video. Brutal. Elderly man's ear hacked off during a farm attack. Paramedics said a 61-year-old man's ear was hacked off after he was attacked by three men on a farm in Tonga during the early hours of Tuesday. According to Reaction Unit SA, Rusa, spokesperson Prem Balram, the man is a worker on the farm. The elderly man was asleep in a compound on a farm when suspects broke the door leading into his room at approximately 3 o'clock. They assaulted him and questioned him regards to where the brush cutters were stored. During the assault, the suspects hacked the man's ear off, Balram said. COVID corruption, here's the full cost of those awful scooter ambulances. What a joke this was. The first few weeks of the pandemic were a wild adjustment for us all, but somehow, the Eastern Cape Department of Health, DOE, and its former Max in Diswagomba managed to come up with the most useless idea imaginable. We are, of course, talking about those ill-fated scooter ambulances. The diabolical affair is back in the news this week, after the presidency released the SIU's report into COVID-19 corruption. Procurement scandals in Zanzi made international headlines in 2020, and it's no surprise why. Billions of rands were chowed by dodgy contracts and irregular tenders, as the ANC government raced to get a handle on the spread of the virus. Sadly, this led to some unscrupulous characters earning big bucks and backhanders. This is Leah for the South African.